My name is Lauren and I had a uh, number 24 on 3-2. So the question it asks is suppose that the revenue from selling X washing machines is R of X equals 20,000 times 1 times M over X dollars. And so with part A, find the marginal rev revenue when 100, 100 machines are produced. So the first thing that I did was I took the derivative of this function. And so this, your 20,000 will go right here. And then from there, this right here, your one over x looks like something like this for x negative one. And so doing the power rule, when you do this, you're going to come out with this, you're going to come out with um, negative one minus one. And then negative one minus one. So when it comes out, it'll be negative x to the negative one. And the derivative of one is zero. So that's how I got rid of that there. So all together, if you want to put it back in fraction form, put it right there. And so with this problem, what I did was I plugged in 100 into your x right here, and you come out with two for that um, for that answer for a. And then with b. It's asking, use the function r prime of x to estimate the increase in revenue that will result from the increasing production of 150 machines a week to 101 machines a week. So with this, so I don't really want to write it down. So basically I said, since r prime is an approximate increase in revenue that will result from the increasing production from 100 machines to um, 100 machines a week to 101 machines a week, the approximate increase in revenue is two, just like um, your answer for A up here. And then with C, it's asking, find the limit of R prime of X as X approaches infinity, and how would you interpret this number? So the limit of R prime of X as X approaches infinity is and this means that the total revenue um, will fall flat when a sufficiently large number of washing machines are produced and this is because the increase in revenue when our, of our prime will become zero I agree with all of that. Does anyone have any questions about this? Actually, there's 